Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. I want to read to you here from John 16, and we'll start with verse 32. And here Jesus says to his disciples, Behold, the hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered, each to his own home, and will leave me alone. This is when Jesus is about to be arrested and then die on the cross the next day. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. I made the mistake this morning as I was getting ready for uh, recording this devotion. Wasn't quite sure what I wanted to talk about. And I was like, well, let's just see what's going on in the news. Oh my goodness. So much evil going on in the world today. If you haven't seen the news, uh, the former prime minister of Japan was assassinated yesterday or last night. Then you have uh, more stuff going on with the Supreme Court decision and the president wanting to uh, use executive orders uh, to overrule states on that matter. And that of course is going to bring out all kinds of, of debate and conversation. And then the question on another headline, is another surge in COVID coming soon? You know, you read the news and you get the idea that everything's just falling apart around you every day. And, and it's almost as if the news is designed to, to make us afraid all the time. Our world is messed up. It is. And there are things to be afraid of in our world. Maybe not as much as, as it seems. But we do live in a sinful, fallen world. And here's what Jesus said again. In the world, you will have tribulation. You will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Jesus has overcome all the evil, all the sin, all the chaos of this evil, sinful world that we live in. Through his death on the cross, Jesus has overcome all sin, forgiving all of our sins, restoring our relationship with God. And through his resurrection, Jesus has overcome death itself, winning for us the gift of eternal life. Right now, we still live in a sinful world. Right now, we experience tribulation, trouble, evil. But Jesus has overcome the world. Jesus has forgiven our sins, has restored our relationship with God, has won for us the gift of eternal life. This tribulation we experience now is just temporary. So as it seems the world is falling apart all around us, we don't panic. We turn to Jesus. We trust in him. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we live in a sinful world. A world in which we experience evil every day. A world in which it seems every day everything's just falling apart. Tribulation, chaos, trouble. And yet, Lord, we know that through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, you have conquered the world. You have conquered our sin. You have conquered death itself. Lord, we thank you for that gift. And we pray, Lord, that you would keep us in the faith, even in the midst of tribulation and troubles in our own lives, that you would help us always, Lord, to turn to you, to trust in you and your promises. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, we're at the weekend now. Pray God's blessings on your weekend. I hope to see you Sunday. Amen.